Hello and God bless you young people. My name is Reverend Jared Reed Smith and I'm a minister here at the Mount Moriah Missionary Baptist Church where my pastor is Dr. Johnny Calvin Smith. Young people, I am so proud of you for taking time uh, to study God's word with me on today. I hope and pray that you're doing well in school. As always, I wanna encourage you uh, to read your Bible every day. I wanna encourage you to pray every day and remember to always do those things that are pleasing to God. I want to go ahead and get started with your lesson, but uh, before we do, uh, I wanna remind you that we have our Bible study every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Use the link in this description of the video uh, and you can definitely learn a lot with us as we go through the promises of God. That is a Zoom link in the description of this video. Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Join us and uh, we just uh, love uh, as we go through the word of God each and every week. So I want you to be a part of that. Let's get started with our lesson. But before we do, let's pray. Gracious God, we do say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for these young people. Lord, I just pray that you please be with them and uh, help them to understand that you're always with them uh, and that you are just uh, right there. If they ever uh, get into a point where they need you to Lord, help them to know that you're right there. We love you and we praise your name in Jesus name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, our young people, our lesson for today is obeying God by resting from work. Obeying God by resting from work. Our lesson text comes from Exodus chapter 31, verses 12 through 18. Exodus 31, verses 12 through 18. And then our golden text comes from Exodus chapter 31, verse 13. And I'll read that for you. It says... Verily, verily, uh, verily, my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations. And so I want to ask a little question as I like to start every lesson with the young people. I want to ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why you go to church every Sunday? For those that go to church or you're watching church on uh, your phone or your tablet or your computer or your TV, have you wondered why do we do this every single Sunday? Why every Sunday? Can't I go and play basketball? Can't I just stay home and, and play video games? Can't I just do something else? Can't I just talk on the phone? Can I go ride my bike? Can I just do anything? Why do we get up and get dressed on Sunday morning? Don't you know that we have school on Monday? I'm always tired on Monday because I have to go to church on Sunday. Why do we go to church on Sunday? Well, in our lesson today, young people, I'm going to answer that question. But in our lesson, God kind of sets up a situation with this special group of people called the children of Israel. Now, they worshiped on another day in the Old Testament. They called it the Sabbath. And normally you would think about that on Saturday. So you think about that as the Sabbath, and that's the day that God wanted them to worship. And in our lesson, although we worship on Sunday because Jesus Christ got up on Sunday, and that answers your question, why do we go to church every Sunday? Why do we every single Sunday? Because we revisit, we rehearse, we rejoice, and we remember that Jesus got up on Sunday. And why is that so important, Reverend Jerry? Well, guess what? That's, it's important because since he got up, we're saved. We're going to heaven. And so it's an important thing that we go and we rehearse and we rejoice and we remember by going to worship every Sunday. Uh, you know, and nothing says that you have to stay at church all day, but we should want to go and be with other believers and rejoice in the fact that Jesus got up on Sunday morning. So that's why we go to church. In our lesson today, God is talking to a special group of people and he wants them to remember why they worship him on a special day called the Sabbath. And he wants them not to do certain things on this Sabbath day. It was supposed to be a very special day and it was supposed to be a day that, yeah, you can do everything else these other days, but on this day, you're not supposed to do that. Has your mom ever said that about your mom or your dad, grandmama, granddaddy, aunt, uncle, cousin? They already Have anyone ever told you, we don't do that on Sunday? I grew up hearing that. We don't do these type of things on Sunday. It's because just like God wanted them to have this day to be special, he wants us to have a special day as well. And so that should answer that question. But in our lesson, 
God is talking to his leader. His leader, his name is Moses. And in verse 12 through 14, God wants to remind them that they should keep this special day of worship. God told Moses to speak to the children of Israel and say, verily, my Sabbath or my special day, ye shall keep. That means there is no ifs, ands, or buts. There are no excuses. You are my people. I want you to keep this special day. What does it mean to keep? That means that you observe it, you respect it. He says, because it's going to be a sign between me and you throughout generations. That means it's a sign. It's a showing that you respect me, that you love me if you do what I've asked you to do. What does it mean uh, to keep it? It means that we make sure that this day is special. It's supposed to be a special day. God's people were commanded to do no work on this Sabbath day, on this special day. All Israelites, all the children of Israel were to spend the day remembering and honoring God. God warned the people that it was very important for them to observe his special day, his Sabbath day. People who defiled the Sabbath day by ignoring what God wanted them to do were going to be punished. And anyone who worked on the Sabbath day would be put to death. This was a very important day for God's people. Why was it very important? Well, remember what God did for them, y'all. Remember, I wish I could talk back to somebody. I wonder if y'all can remember. What did God do special for the people, the children of Israel? If you said that he released them from Egypt slavery, you're right. He released them from Egyptian slavery. They were slaves and God released them. God made a way where they were not going to be slaves anymore. And so he wanted them to worship him on the Sabbath day, on this special day. It's kind of like if, if your mom or your dad do something for you and they say, well, you're going to do this every week to remember what I did for you. That's what God wanted. I want you to remember. So not only do I want you to keep it, I want you to respect it, but I don't want you to work on it. I don't want you doing different type of things on this special day. There was to be no work done on the Sabbath day. God made it very specific. That means he was very sure to tell them that on the Sabbath day, there were to be no work. He says for six days of the week, the people did all their work. That's the day that they're working on the seventh day of the week. They were supposed to rest and honor the Lord. The people were commanded to worship and pray to God on this holy day, on this special day. Anyone called working would get in trouble. They are supposed to be very important. This is supposed to be a very important day for God's people. Now, what happens if the people worked on those days? Uh, what happens to people that even work now on Sunday? Well, we understand that things do happen, right? Some young people might even have a job on Sunday. Well, my best thing I can tell you is we ought to always try and work to find ways that we can be at church. Sometimes things happen. People have jobs. Things, people have to make a living. Your mom or your dad might even have to work on Sunday. But we should always try if possible, to be at church. Because remember, this is how we honor and this is how we worship and remember what God did for us. What did God do for us? That's so special on Sunday. He sent his darling son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And Jesus got up on Sunday morning, the first day of the week. And so that day is very important to God's people. God created people and he wanted to make sure that God's people did exactly what he wanted for them to do. God is pleased uh, when we do and do exactly what he wants us to do. What am I saying? God is pleased. God is happy when we're obedient. And we ought to make sure that we try to be obedient to what God wants us to do. God wants his people to have balance. He wants us to know how we ought to uh, live our lives. He doesn't want us to stay and do things all day. He don't want us to stay at church all day, but we ought to set aside time uh, to worship him and to show how much we appreciate us. And so God goes on to tell them, and he gives them an example of how he created the heavens and the earth. And he says, in six days, uh, I created all of these things, but on the seventh day, God rested. And so that's why he wanted them to rest. He did not want any work to be done 
on this special day on the Sabbath. God wants people uh, to definitely have a day in which they will remember him. Uh, we are to spend our Sundays in song and in prayer and in worship of our Lord. On Sunday, we are to rest and enjoy everything God has given us. God gave Moses in our lesson, the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai. These commands were written in stone and God gave them the commandments so the people would understand what God wanted for them to do. Moses told the people of all of the commandments God had told him about. And I hope you can see that we can have a balanced life. We ought to want to worship God, young people. We ought to want to give God praise, but God also wants our obedience and he wants us to do what he asks for us to do. So we don't celebrate the Sabbath like in our lesson, but we do celebrate God's day or the Lord's day on Sunday morning. And on those days, we ought to want to get up and go and be with other believers and worship and praise and song and prayer because of what God did through Jesus Christ. Yeah, what did he do? He sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. People today can learn from God's command on how serious God is about setting apart a day to worship him. God is very serious about setting aside a day where we can worship him and we can do it in a way with other believers. And so that's what we do. That's why we get up every Sunday morning. That's why we're worshiping God together. It's not just to put on clothes and to see what clothes everyone is wearing and see what songs we can sing and, and listen to a person talk to us for 20 or 30 minutes or 15, 20 or 30 minutes about Jesus. It's about bigger than that. It's about us remembering every Sunday what God did for us in sending Jesus Christ to die for our sins. And because of that, we get up every Sunday, just like Jesus got up, and we go and we worship the Lord because of that's what we do to remember and rejoice on what he did for us. Young people, that is the end of our lesson today. I pray that you learned something and the reason and why we worship. And definitely, why do we worship on Sunday morning? And guess what, young people? It is ours uh, to always remember that and be thankful for what God has done for us. I pray, uh, young people, that you've learned something. I pray that something will be said uh, that has been uh, very helpful for you. And I pray that you join us on Wednesday night and on Sunday morning for worship. God bless you, young people. Have a great week.